Kamin Yamal has been very much the poster boy of this Spain side. And he turned 17 today. Uh, what a birthday president it would be if he could bring home uh, the European Championship. Inevitably, because of his age, Mario, and that incredible goal that, of course, we saw in the previous round, he is the one who has grabbed all of the headlines. Yes, an amazing player, 17 years old. I have 20 more years than, than him. It's amazing. And uh, the personality he shows every game, he wants to take every free kick, he wants to took, to have every ball. Uh, the, the goal of the other day when you were losing against France, it's amazing. I don't know, what can I say? I don't know Steve or Frank, but I never saw something like no. this before. Maybe Messi, but not so, so young. And uh, oh, it's a, we are lucky in Spain that uh, he's uh, Spanish and he played with us or for us. And I don't know what else can I say because I think what he shows every match uh, talks by, by, by himself. You know what is, what is sad in, in a way? That because we've been there, uh, and yesterday I was a little bit emotion, em, emotional about the, 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 the World Cup uh, in mm -hmm. 98. And uh, because you don't realize when you play it, when you're in the present time, you play it and you play games after games, and you, especially at 17 years old, yeah. you just enjoy it. I, I think for him it's normal on top of it, but because it's his own life. But it's incredible, 17 mm. years old, playing a European Championship final, uh, being already blessed by Messi when you were a baby, uh, and then uh, with, with Ramos in the tunnel. Uh, that guy already has a life. Like nobody could have expected, yeah. and, they, and 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 so many people are, will be wishing to. It's it's incredible. Mm. The guy is gifted. <laughs> this mean, is this of course the famous yeah, picture yeah. of uh, <laughs> him and Messi. He lost you know, some weight. He lost I mean, some you some cannot weight. you cannot <laughs> contemplate, can you? It's impossible to contemplate. No, that's what it is. A sixteen-year-old. I mean, this is a sixteen-year-old who's had nearly a full season with Barcelona. Yeah. Oh yeah, he's turned seventeen today. But all of his football has been played as a sixteen-year-old, and you cannot believe how young that is, mentally. How young it is physically to play this many games in such a short space of time. Have the pressure on your shoulders of trying to deliver. The maturity. And, and, having, and having delivered on a big scale. I mean, as Mario said, you, there's, there's no words. You can't just say amazing, fantastic. Because this, is, this has never been done yeah, before, it's really. It's unprecedented. It? Yeah. A 16-year-old. Messi was 17 when he played for... For Barcelona, I know Michael Owen was 17 when he played for Liverpool, but Pele won the World Cup at 17. To do it on an international level, 16 years and just turned 17, is, as you said, remarkable, absolutely remarkable, and he deserves to win it just so he will receive all the plaudits of of of, of, his, of his achievements. Yeah, don't forget Nico Williams as well. Yeah, yeah, I want to go about Nico Williams. Well, that's the thing, he's 22. I, I, Nico Williams. I just want one more point on Lamine Yamal, which is I think very interesting, Mario, because normally you would think ahead of a final. With a 17-year-old playing, the conversation would be, how's he going to handle the pressure? <laughs> but we know exactly how he's going to handle the pressure because he's played the same for Barcelona, makes a step up to Spain, and then puts on the sort of performances that he has. We know that it just doesn't seem to affect him. Yes, what you were saying, the maturity he shows uh, every match, because it's not just, I play one match well... Uh, I, I, I disappear for two matches. No, he's playing uh, as, as a number 10, put it all the elder responsibility in his back. And uh, want, he wants to, you were talking about Nico. Nico, I think, is more winger. He goes more to the box. Lamine can go inside, play one, two, uh, dribble, play one v one, uh, run looking for the space. I think it's amazing. Uh, mm. We have been without this kind of players in Spain for a long, long, long time. Mm. And now we have to enjoy it. Mm. The pressure doesn't exist for a player at 17 years old. I think it does. It's not part of his brain and his mind because they just enjoy. Right. They don't really realize. I think it's why it's, it's beautiful. You're more under pressure when you're 30, when you're almost at the end of your but career, because you, you, especially if you never won anything. And the pressure for Kane must be huge because he never won anything. So the pressure is bigger if you are a little bit more. Aged. And he's locked away at the moment. He's, he's probably slightly fortunate the fact that. He is in a foreign country. As Frank was saying yesterday, when you play international football in tournaments, you're locked away in the bubble of your own hotel. You avoid a lot of the press. You avoid a lot of the social media type if you can. Right. If they win tomorrow, I think the enormity then, when he gets home, mm -hmm. will really strike him because that's when it will become real. That's when it will become realistic that a 16-year-old, stroke 17-year-old today, has achieved such greatness at such an early age. And then... 
the pressure will mount because it's the World Cup when he'll be 19 and then it's the Euros when he'll be 21. <laughs> That's when it'll start, the pressure. But there's no pressure on him now. Tomorrow is like a free hit for him. There's pressure on Rodri and Fabian Ruiz and Danny Carvajal and Nacho, et cetera, et cetera, because they're the experienced ones. But for such a young, um, a, a young boy like this, It'll be go out, do what you want, go and enjoy yourself, go and play and see if you can, see if you can bring the trophy home for your country.